Yo, what's going on everybody? So, we are back with another build tutorial today. Um, this one isn't like a skull or a T-Rex or a turtle or anything like this. This is for uh, uh, two builds, right? Two uh, Save the World builds that I use in every single mission. Um, like I said, they're super overpowered. I don't have to do much. I don't really shoot that much, so I can serve my bullets. And all that stuff I'm going to show you how to make both builds um, one will be if you know you want your combat and all that stuff uh, it works really well get you a high combat score and the other is a more passive where you don't really get too much combat at all um, it is a constructor build so I will show you my constructor setup that I have when I use it um, and just remember you know use the appropriate type of materials and the appropriate type of traps for uh, whatever level you're doing and it will make it things a whole lot easier so with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and uh, make sure you use code IDK yes maybe in the item shop if you don't know how to spell it it's right there in the top left hand corner it says IDK yes maybe that's my uh, creator code alright so what I do is let's say um, there's our objective so like save the data or retrieve the data um, you know uh, you're by the storm category ones twos threes whatever um, and you can extend them out so like if you're doing ride the lightning you can go what is it? I think it's too wide so you can just double it out um, uh, cover, or uh, repair the shelter you could do three it just you, you can expand it out but we're going to just the one you know super easy for like retrieve the data and stuff like that and uh, all that so this is our little retrieve the data box or this is our uh, um, fight the storm model right all right so from right here we're gonna go ahead and choose our material I'm going to go ahead and use brick and like I said everything wants to be leveled up to level three right and uh, I think it takes right about 2500 mats to uh, fully upgrade so just kind of keep that in mind but yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit each side with one of these cones you can do stairs too if you want I'm just really into the cones so each side you're going to have a cone that's set up with a floor piece right so that's going to be your first step right there alright so that's step one and this is the one for the high combat guys this is the one for the high combat alright once we do that Oh, I don't want to fly. We want to come up here. We're just going to make like a little box around it. Now, whenever you're doing fight the storm, you can go ahead and put this. Uh, retrieve the data. You kind of got to wait until the end to put this down. That way, you can put your uh, um, base on it. But we're going to go ahead and put it here now, um, and we're going to cap it off so our uh, constructor base can go under this to kind of give it like a little extra. Uh, safeguarding right all right so come over here to one of these corners and we're just going to build a square and we're going to edit these to make them kind of straight right now you can either do that or uh, I've seen some people one of my buddies does it like that um, either way it doesn't matter because the husk ain't going to come over into these squares right here um, everybody knows that the husk takes the easiest point of thing so they're going to come right here they're not going to go up to the sides or nothing like that so this is a personal preference I do it like this you know where it's kind of just a uh, triangle I do have buddies that do this and kind of like leave this open but for the purpose and demonstration of my video I'm just doing them all like this so you're going to do that to all four corners edit it come back over here edit this come to the next corner edit that up not that one this one right here edit that up and then the last corner <clears throat> all right get that and get that now this <clears throat> will uh, do really really well um, but like when you get like four time player missions um, the husk kind of end up a little stronger and a buddy of mine came up with this uh, idea to uh, add an extra trap right and I'll show you where the traps go here in a second but this is basically the build just a giant square with one uh, 
opening on each side because the husks will go into it and then they'll just come straight here like I said they don't go off to the sides at all unless they're chasing you but then if they're chasing you you know you can just kind of run over to the side so now to expand on this just a little bit right we're gonna put we're just gonna come out like that so we're gonna have both sides open you know so they can kind of come around and all that so you got one ceiling out one floor out and a wall we're gonna go ahead and do that on all four all right come over here come over here all right so there it is that is all you really need to build you know upgrade it to stage three like i said it comes out to about 2500 mats fully upgraded um kind of depends whether you know you're using a constructor it'll be a little less um you know because you get that little bonus or whatever it's not much so upgrade to stage three <clears throat> all right so this is your first build now i'm going to explain where you put the traps so these are the traps that i use all right i'll use uh oh those cannon traps what the hell they're called um broadsides i'll put two broadsides here right i'll put them on all four corners so there's two, four, six, eight broadsides, right? So you'll have a broadside facing that way, broadside facing that way, and vice versa. So eight broadside traps. Here you'll put a floor launcher, and that's why we got the angle right here, because the floor launcher bounces them up. Throw them back out here, and it slows them down, you know, so they come in and get hit by broadsides again, right? And we'll do that on all four corners. So floor trap floor trap floor trap and floor trap so there's four four floor traps right to bounce them back out and then right here on the outsides I'll have gas traps so you know four gas traps one here one over there one over there on the ceiling and then opposite right so now we're at eight broadsides four floor traps four gas traps and then uh, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling for the mission. Sometimes I'll put a wall launcher right here, or I'll put um, wall dynamos. Just kind of depending if I want to give them that extra bounce back in to get bounced back and bounce, 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 or if I just want them to get hit with uh, with damage from the wall dynamos, the gas traps come in, get hit with the damage from the broadsides, and get launched back out to get hit with you know the wall dynamo and the gas trap again right so that is the first build and I'll go ahead and show you a clip of fully upgraded and with the traps and then we'll move to the next one Alright guys, so now the next one, like I said, that build was for combat. Like if you want a high combat, you know, you can do that. You can solo a mission really easily. Just make sure you got your constructor. And again, I will show you my constructor build at the end of the video. So if you want to see kind of how my constructor setup is that works for me, then, you know, just check out the end of the video. So this next one's more of a passive thing um, where you kind of trap the husks with uh without killing them that way they don't respawn right so we'll just build our little box again you know for uh retrieve the data let's just do this we'll retrieve the data um ride the lightning again it's just all going to depend on how many squares you go we're going to go ahead and uh just go one square to make it easy right so here we go that is our first, you know, main box that everybody builds around whatever you're defending. That's the very first box you build. 
right? And so from here, do this. Those are going to get deleted. So let's take this. Edit that. All right, so we're going to build too high, right? Now, if you're doing retrieve the data with this, um, leave like a little uh, door or something that you can get into the middle after the balloon falls and you can get in there with your constructor and lay your base in. Um, so what I usually do is I'll come in here and if you're doing retrieve the data, you know, you got to wait again, but if you're doing any other mission, you can kind of place that down and that's where I'll put my uh, constructor base and then uh, I'll put that, you know, for you know that extra protection over the constructor base All right now from there we're basically going to choose two corners we're just going to do two corners um, that way it's just a whole lot easier so I'll go ahead and choose this corner here and make sure they're opposite corners um, alright so we're going to choose this corner right here you can see how I kind of did one two three on this corner then you come over here and you gotta do one, two, three. All right, so the corners that we're not gonna be using are the empty corners, right? We're not gonna use these corners at all, right? And again, like I said, upgrade to stage three. We're gonna put this on each corner. Like I said, these are the two most, these are the two builds that I use more than any other build with my constructor. And we're gonna edit these up towards the towards the corners that we're going to be using so we're using this corner you can see that they're edited up towards uh, where I'm standing at and we're going to do that on both sides so edit this one up towards the corner that we're using Edit this one up towards the corner that we're using all right and so this is kind of like what it's looking like at the moment I mean and we're almost done so it doesn't take that many uh, materials to do and it doesn't take that many traps because um, our whole purpose is not to kill the husks in this, right? Alright, so once we build our box, you can see where we got our little things coming in. You do not want to put a wall on either one of those because that will block the husks from getting launched up. But you do want to put a wall on the back side, that way they don't get launched over. And then when uh, you do that, you come down here and put a floor, right? And what this is going to do, and I'll explain it here in a second, let me set up this other side really fast. Do this. We don't want to put a wall there, so we'll put one here and here. And we'll put a floor. Alright, now, from here, the build is actually complete, right? You don't have to build no more. This is what it is. Just kind of upgrade it, and you're good to go. Now, the traps that we're going to be using for this, right, is we're going to have six floor traps right so we're gonna have let me get in here real quick so you can see this all right so we're gonna have a floor trap here or a floor launcher three floor launchers here here and here so that's three there and then you got three over here so let me go ahead and edit this edit this so three four five six we're going to have six floor launchers, and that's going to take them, launch them up, bounce off that, they're going to land in here, right? And then they're going to have another floor launcher in here that bounces them up, and it's going to go straight up, and all that. Alright, so that's one way to kind of slow them down. Uh, you got the roof up there, that way they don't go too high, and they don't take too much damage. That way they continue to live and survive, and they don't die. And then you ain't got to worry about them respawning. Now after this, you're going to have four wall lights right power up your wall lights to whatever uh, level that you're using and you're going to put them on the lower wall underneath where you got you know two walls high so you can see we only got one wall high here we got two walls here two walls here you're going to put the wall lights here on the outside right so you're going to do that on both sides so two here come back over here on the outside walls and two here all right now from there you're gonna have uh, four wall launchers also and you're gonna put those wall launchers right here so one two here 
and then one two here so to recap this is what the inside of your box is going to look like wall launcher wall launcher right right over where they come wall lights wall lights floor launcher now what this is doing is none of them really do too much of a high damage thing right so the wall lights will stun them okay the wall punchers will knock them back from breaking in because they're trying to take the shortest route to your objective that you're protecting so that's why we put our wall launchers here to bounce them back and then you got your floor uh, launcher that's going to launch them up to kind of keep more time okay now with that you put your base on the inside like I said at the beginning and you can also have your banner right your banner will give extra protection um, you can kind of like throw your banner down right here in this corner or if it's like ride the lightning or anything like that and your base doesn't fully reach out to some of your edges like so say this edge right here isn't being covered by my base I can take my flag place it right here it'll give these walls a little bit of extra strength right but yeah so that one is to keep the husk from dying and respawning and it works great um, basically all you got to do is kill uh, the flingers and the lobbers and uh, the smashers. Other than that, <clears throat> you're good to go because they'll respawn in as a different husk and come in and, uh, you know, they'll get launched inside. Now, <clears throat> with your trap and all that stuff, make sure you got, you know, hot fix on it so it repairs and stuff. And uh, as you're going through, just kind of run around and check. You know, you might have to uh, repair, you know, a couple pieces. It's not going to be much just kind of run around and check and repair because they are going to be beaten on the walls so you got that you do got that respawn time but uh, I'll show you this build fully upgraded but it's exactly the same um, it works amazing like I said but uh, yeah two simple builds so there's the first one that one's for the combat this is for the more passive where you just want to sit back and not really do anything that's this build so I'll go ahead and show you that and then I'll show you my constructor build afterwards. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right over to that and we'll be good to go, guys. <laughs> 